The Lakers won the first ever NBA Cup by shutting down the league's best offense. And they executed a perfect game plan that slowed down Indiana's pace car, Tyrese Halliburton. The Pacers are the fastest team in the league, and they create great shots in transition because of this pace. In the Cup semifinals against Milwaukee, Indy scored on a play just five seconds after it went through the hoop. And this is off a dead ball, and it's three seconds to a pick and roll, then a perfect pocket pass for a layup. So the Lakers' strategy was to pick up Halliburton full court and use ball pressure to slow him down. It's seven seconds before they start the action, and they're looking for a design back screen here, but LeBron dodges the pick and breaks it up beautifully. This is after a made three, the Pacers inbound immediately, and Cam Reddish is right in front of the ball. So instead of three seconds to get into the pick and roll, it's seven seconds, Davis traps it, and all that size makes passing difficult. The Lakers are then in perfect position on the reset. LeBron James switches out, moves his feet, and funnels the ball into traffic for a block. Oh, this time they set a screen to free Halliburton, so the screener's defender switches temporarily before sprinting back to his man. When it comes back over to Tyrese, he turns the corner, but Anthony Davis is waiting for him and can turn and contest the shot. And on the rebound, D'Angelo Russell falls asleep, so Indiana can finally score. Here's one where Reddish holds the follow through a little too long, so Halliburton takes off and Russell immediately switches onto him. A second defender walls him off in help near half court, and that kills the fast break. They trap the pick and roll, and then Reddish makes a great rotation to the corner to contest the three. So even when the primary defender is beat in transition, the Lakers switch behind the play beautifully and recover to take away transition offense. This one's spectacular. Reddish sprints across the court to meet the ball, but Davis had gambled for a steal, leaving Miles Turner uncovered. So Torian Prince switches onto him as Davis sprints back. It goes to the open man, but LeBron makes an incredible switch onto him to stop a drive. And meanwhile, Davis switches behind the play back to Turner, and the defense is completely reset. Then there's some more nice help with Russell stepping up to stop Halliburton. And finally, Prince stays to protect the rim and deflects it out. That's an incredible 12 seconds. Off of this LeBron make, Jared Vanderbilt swarms Halliburton, so it actually takes four seconds just to inbound the ball, but then Halley breaks free, and again, there's a help defender in position. The Lakers just switch, and then on the pick and roll, LeBron tells a teammate to slide over to the roll man so he can rotate to these two shooters, only he lingers to stop the ball. Vanderbilt rotates to the corner, Halliburton's man stays to stop him, and Russell floats out to the wing and put that possession in a museum. hoo So step one for LA was to pick up Halliburton full court and just pester him all night. Step two was to prioritize him as a unit by switching and building a wall to slow him down as needed in transition. And then in the half court, step three was to trap him on pick and rolls with Davis forcing other Pacers to make extra passes, which isn't their strong suit. That means Davis comes way out high to meet the ball on pick and rolls to disrupt Halley and make him pass it. And that's a really clean look, but the Pacers actually missed a handful of shots in this game they couldn't afford to against this defense. Anyway, back to Davis. He's trapping out high in pick and rolls to take away Halliburton's pull-up three, and to make his passes difficult with that seven and a half foot wingspan. Watch him throw his arms out here and deter Halliburton from passing. And later in the game, Indiana moved the pick and roll way out high, only for Davis to tip a pocket pass, and that sprung the Lakers offense going the other way for an easy two. It's difficult to believe AD's arms are that long, but he fingertips the pass to kill it and generate that run out. The Pacers tried to counter Davis by just avoiding him. 
having a guard set the screen instead for Halliburton. And I think the Lakers will take possessions that end in Isaiah Jackson runners. This one at the end of the third actually worked for Indy, but again, they were just 10 of 41 on threes. The other pacer counter here was to forego a screen and leave Halliburton to isolate himself. Davis is still there at the rim to force a pass and pirouette into a block anyway. These kinds of coverages work for LA because of Davis's incredible versatility. He can switch onto guards without paying any tax basically, and then still recover to protect the basket, and it takes amazing finishes to beat him. AD actually played a drop coverage against non-Halliburton pick and rolls. And then when Tyrese was involved, he used that mobility and length to step out and clog basic passes. And LeBron holds off that big man underneath. James's role is key here. We've seen his middle linebacker communication, timely switches, and his size and versatility pairs beautifully with whatever scheme the Lakers build around Davis. Here's AD trapping with LeBron on the bench, so the help at the basket is smaller and can't really bother the roll man. But with James out there, he adds size and these free safety interceptions out of the blitz because he knows Halliburton isn't throwing this over Davis's size, moves to the roller, and has the quickness to go get it, even at 38 years old. So LeBron lurking back there is always in the ball handler's head. And you get subtle moments like this where Davis comes out to meet Halliburton. He's taking away the roll pass. LeBron knows that, and that's not an easy decision for a guard. So it just turns into a desperation heave and a shot clock violation. When Indy avoided Davis in the pick and roll, LeBron could fly out and trap. Then they just switch behind the play, so they give up nothing. Or on this one, Indiana avoids Davis, but Halliburton is just a touch late on that backdoor pass, so AD vaporizes it out of nowhere. Davis was just everywhere all night, as we've seen from him so many times in big games. And he was a massive reason the Pacers were held to just 106 points per 100 possessions, their worst output in over a month, and 18 points below their season average. Yes, there was some shooting luck involved, but this was a masterful Laker game plan cooked up by coach Darvin Ham that was built around Davis's versatility, paired with defenders like Reddish and Vanderbilt, and then bolstered by the coach on the floor, LeBron James. It's the kind of defensive performance that carried LA to the conference finals last year and makes them dangerous in a playoff setting against most teams in the field. And after shutting down the most efficient offense in league history, that defense was good enough to claim the first ever NBA Cup. The Lakers are currently sixth in our adjusted defensive rating stat that takes into account shooting luck and opponent quality. That's available to deluxe subscribers at patreon.com slash thinking basketball. We have a ton of other stats for teams and players that update throughout the year that we use to make these videos and the thinking basketball podcast. Thanks as always for watching this one all the way through. Hope you enjoyed the inaugural in-season tournament as much as I did. And of course, I hope you are having a great day.